What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame reading. Um, the overall energy of this reading, if you resonate with this, you resonate with uh, being in the flow and being abundant. First, single by yourself. You're in your empress and your high priestess energy. We have the empress and the high priestess um, on the bottom of the deck. Sorry, this lighting. And we have the nine of pentacles to go with it. Um, three of wands is right under there. But the overall energy and coupled with Earth, Gaia, Earth Connection, and the Fool card, it, this, you're in the flow. You're creating. You're becoming abundant by yourself. You're working on your goals. Your plans are going through um, without a hitch. You're staying with a positive mindset and keeping the faith and a connection at that moment manifests. When you get to that energy of self-sufficiency, of independence uh flourishing alone that's when this connection out of the blue comes towards you and if you i guess it won't be out of the blue if you're watching readings but this connection manifests because the divine intervenes and brings it together and the reason why i'm saying that is because we have oracle cards that came out two masculine oracle cards came out two male figures on these oracle cards but we have the Divine Director and we have Babaji, Mahabhasar Babaji. But we have Intervision and Purpose and Soul Expansion and Connection. This is saying the divine is working towards the manifestation of a connection, of a soul connection, of a soul partnership. Your twin flame, your divine partner. It's it says divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided, and happiness is your purpose. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. This is embodying the energy of. Everything happens for a reason. And and now I know why it had to happen this way. Or I understand that all things happen for a reason. The separation was for a reason. The reconnection and union is for a reason. The trials and tribulations that I had to go through was for a reason. I had to leave this place and come to this place. Maybe you move, you transition. It all happened for a reason. And you're coming, you're embodying this energy. You're having faith and trust in the universe that... Yeah, things happened the way they were supposed to happen. And I trust that whatever happened, whether it appeared to be good or bad, was for the good. Was for the betterment of me and my partner. Was for the betterment of my twin flame journey within myself, internally, and external partnership. First thing we have is the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Clarified by the... Um, let's start with here. We have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Four of Wands. Let's just start here. Let me slow down. Let me start there. Um, divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And I'm going to... This is for both because, you know, this divine intervention this, that's occurring is for both of you. So it's not like divine intervening, intervening on the masculine, whoever resonates as the masculine, and not the other partner. No, intervention is bringing you both together. It's bringing you both to union, bringing you both to a place of peace and ready for reconciliation. So anyway, so you're completing this phase. You're at the Ten of Swords energy. You're completing a phase of life right now. You're completing, um, you're, you're coming into union within yourself. Now, this is singular energy, but both this is happening on both masculine and feminine ends. You're, you're intervening, I'm sorry, there's divine intervening, intervention bringing you into union. Of course, you're working with the energies. It's not just the energies working alone, but you're working on union and coming, becoming one with yourself, becoming yourself. Makes me think of Michelle Obama's book, Becoming. You're becoming yourself. And things are going to change for you. I keep getting the Three of Swords. Um, before Leo season, I kept getting the Strength card and King of Wands because this is how that things were happening during Leo season. And I projected the things that would happen during Leo season. Excuse me. Now, Spirit is giving me the projections for Libra season. Don't know why Virgo was good. <laughs> but... Libra season, there is this manifestation of blessings. Things are, you're, you're ending cycles now and, and beginning new ones and you're becoming into new and union for yourself so that a new phase of life begins. And it's going to happen during Libra season. And it's clarified by the Six of Pentacles, which is balance. You have the sun. It's Leo energy, but you have the sun. Manifest, manifested blessings. You have Ace of Cups, fulfillment. Your cup runneth over, increase on overflow, the hangman, new perspectives, but peace and resurrection, and the emperor. 
masculine energy coming into your masculine power coming into your masculine partner um so all of these blessings occurring during Libra season bring you together with your partner. Again, the divine intervening, bringing you, preparing you for blessings, preparing you for equal give and take, preparing you for the sun, preparing you for increase and overflow in your life. And it brings forth, again, a partnership. Yeah, the six of cups and the three of cups. It brings forth this partnership that doubles you, this partnership that enhances you and adds value to you. Brings for a celebration and reconciliation with someone from the past. So that's why I say reconciliation because a lot of our divine partners is someone we've already connected with in the past. And for this reading, you're connecting with a love connection from the past. And divine is working to bring you two back together during Libra season. So whatever you're going through right now, know that it's leading you towards the manifestation of blessings, the manifestation of value added to you individually, and the manifestation of the connection that um, is to be manifested here on earth. See, this is an earth connection. We got Gaia. Remember, earth connection. This connection is supposed to happen here. So your consciousness is expanding so that you can have... Um, both of your consciousness are expanding to bring you two together. The divine is bringing you to the mindset, bringing you to a place of peace where you two can come together and, and work as light workers, where you can come together and be one. Notice both of these cards talk about connections. It's soul and it's earth. It's a manifestation of a soul connection here on earth. Twin flame. Then we have the Princess of Cups coupled with the Ace of Cups. This is interesting, this reading. It's like, this is the goal. This is what's happening over here on this side with the, the completions of the cycle and coming together during Libra season. And this is like what is happening now or it should be happening right before this happens. Interesting how they... They lay these cards out. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Princess of Cups. This is you focused on, you both focused on what fulfills you, what brings you happiness and fulfillment, what brings you peace, what brings you, what lights your soul on fire. Twice for the Ace of Cups in this reading already. What makes you happy? What brings you peace? What increases you, what increases your soul? What makes you, um, happy and fulfilled that's you working on that and then you have the queen of swords clarified by the queen of swords <laughs> and the five of cups this is being very clear on what brings you happiness and fulfillment and what doesn't being very clear on the things that you should be focused on instead of focused on the things that no longer work for you you focus on what can i do now so it's like, yes, I'm focused on what fulfills me and brings me happiness. And I'm putting my attention on that instead of putting my attention on the things that no longer work for me, the people who no longer work for me. This is people in your heart that don't belong there. This is people, this is places and things that no longer serve you. You're not focused on that no more. You're gaining clarity as to what brings you fulfillment and happiness. Then we have the two of wands clarified by the ten of wands. Then we have the nine of wands clarified by the two of wands. Two of Wands clarified by the Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands clarified by the Two of Wands. I want to talk about these together for some reason. <laughs> this is responsibility. Carrying the responsibility of your purpose. Putting your plans in action. Working on, again, the things that fulfill you. But putting a strategy to it and carrying the responsibilities to fulfill your plans and to manifest your future to the current. It's like working on your future or putting your plans in, in order and together so that you can you manifest it. You're carrying those responsibilities and you're putting the work in to manifest your plans. This is very singular energy as well. So both of you is just focused on what do I want my future to look like? And you're working on it. You're you're doing the hard work. You're dedicated. You're persevering. You're focusing. You're putting positive intentions out there. And you're focused on manifesting your plans for the future. Again, it's a singular energy. 
But what you don't know and what your partner doesn't probably know is that while you're working on your plans for your sales, while you're working on yourself, you're actually working. It's bringing both of you together. You think you're doing this as a, in a singular motion. You think you're doing this for yourself. You think you're doing this as um, to balance, and you are, to balance your internal energies. But doing so also brings the partnership together because you also have your guides, your ancestors, divine intervention bringing you two together as well. So while you're working on you and while your partner is working on them or him or her, the divine is bringing you two together. So as you work together on each other, just imagine you coming together. As you work on you, you, you get closer to union. And your partner works on him or her and it gets closer to union, it brings you both together because that's how it works. And the divine is bringing you two together. Then there's the star. Clarified by the King of Swords. And I saw the King of Swords twice too. It may not have manifested, but I saw it as I was shuffling. You have the King of Swords, Three of Cups, and Ace of Swords. And that's clarifying the star. The star brings forth clarity. The star brings forth celebration. The star brings forth breakthroughs. The star brings forth, see this is getting closer, as it gets closer to the end, this is um starts manifesting what I talked about at the beginning, the connection of this partnership and union and entering a new phase during Libra season. So after you carry the responsibilities of manifesting your plans your for the future and, your, and putting your strategy forward and being clear about what fulfills you and start focusing in those, on, on those things, it manifests this energy of the star bringing forth clarity, bringing forth um, manifesting objectives, uh, manifesting a breakthrough in your life. Um, and it has something to do with the Leo. You have the King of Wands clarified by the Knight of Wands. Jacks, I, I clear, I, I resonate with the Knight with this Jack for right now. But this is passionately pursuing your goals, but in a passionate pursuit for you. And for some people, this could be a Leo in a passionate pursuit for you. For others, it's a Leo, something happening during Leo season that's going to um, set, set the motion for manifestation during Libra season. So if somebody contacts you, if your masculine or feminine contacts you, or if something happens during this um, season, it's because it's starting to, it's, it's bringing it forth motion, the completion of the cycle to begin a new one. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. There's divine intervention at play. There's God's working towards the manifestation and fruition of this partnership. And all you have to do is work on you. All you have to do is focus on your goals and maintaining balance within yourself. Maintain your emperors and high priestess flow, which means you're staying spiritually sound. You're staying in peace. You're staying in the flow of the energies of the universe you're creating. But you're putting the work in as well because you're balanced. You're not just thinking about these things. You're putting the effort towards them. If you have goals and you figure out what, what brings you fulfillment and happiness in your life, you're not just thinking about what brings me fulfillment and happiness, but you're working on those things. And doing so manifests this partnership Manifest union individually and manifest a new phase of life. Manifest the sun came out twice, did it? No, that's the sun and the star. And we have a lot of Leo energy in here. But it's manifest because it's happening now. Again, Leo season is harvest season. So you're putting in the work now so to prepare you for this next level in your life during Leo season. So continue to work. I, I assume that in Leo season, we're working in, in the next season, which is um, Virgo, uh, we'll be working as well or starting to see fruit from our labor. But Libra season is when it takes off. But perhaps Virgo season is when it blossoms, when it starts to, it starts looking good. It starts looking better and you start seeing the rewards and fruit from your labor. But during Libra season is when it takes off. So I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. Um, if you resonate with this reading, I have a lot of masculine and feminine energy in this reading. So I resonate with both 
energies. Again, we have both energies innate in us, so it makes perfect sense for this reading to resonate with masculine and feminine energy, finding ba balance between both and manifesting a new phase of life. So you're close to union. Keep working. Keep doing what you're doing, especially if you resonate with this reading and it's leading you towards where you're supposed to be. The divine is working with you. So there's literally nothing, worry, nothing to worry about. Keep working hard. Keep creating. Stay in the flow and know that everything is happening as it should. I wish you love. I wish you lights. I wish you more life. Today's reading was brought to you by my book, The Personification of Beauty. It is a wonderful read and it's on Amazon. Go on Amazon.com or in the Amazon app and search Ashley Gillard, A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.